click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so far we have discussed about the first type of the BJT biasing that is fixed biasing with and without resistance emitter resistance RE. Now in this particular video we will learn the another type of biasing circuit that is BJT with collector to base bias. So we will have to learn mathematically as well as conceptually about the stability about the Q point of the biasing network. Now, as we all know that this collector to base bias circuit gives you the resistance in between the collector and base terminal directly. We will directly draw the particular circuitry of collector to base bias and we will analyze mathematically. Now we will have to apply the analysis part with KVL and KCL. Obviously, here I will not repeat what to do. We will have to do two things. One is Q point and second thing is stability. This is your input side where we are going from the resistance RC, resistance RB, VBE and resistance RE. Right? So, one thing you should keep very carefully in your mind that at this particular node your current gets divided many of the time you people made mistake that is this resistance through current is nothing but your ic no it's not ic current flowing through the collector is nothing but ic so we'll name this as collector current ic now we'll have to find out what that current flowing through resistance rc for that we will apply that current flowing through resistance RB is nothing but IB. Now we apply KCL at this particular node. Let's say node number A. We will be getting the current flowing through resistance RC is nothing but IB plus IC and that is nothing but current IE. Isn't it? So we'll name this as current IE. This is because we know the expression of the addition of current IB and IC as nothing but IE. So current flowing through resistance RC is not current IC rather it's current IE. So in the mathematical expression as well we will write that current IE. This is big equation and from which we'll have to convert this IE into IB. So we'll write put IE is equal to 1 plus beta times IB. Mind well for finding Q parameter we'll have to express IE with only IB. For stability finding parameter we'll have to express this IE as IC plus IB, right? From here, we will be getting, we will directly write IBQ as we'll name this as equation number one for Q point. Second is, obviously ICQ is beta times IBQ. Then we will apply we will apply KVL to output. This is nothing but the output loop from VCC to ground through VCEQ. So here we will be getting V C E Q. First we will be getting plus V C C minus I E mind well I E minus V C E Q minus I E into R E is equal to zero. Right? <coughs> Obviously 
with this IBQ, we can easily get the value of IEQ as well. 1 plus beta times, instead of beta, we will write 1 plus beta into IBQ, that is nothing but IEQ, where we are implementing this IEO here. VCEQ, that is another Q point parameter, will become VCC minus IEQ, we will write, and in bracket RC plus RE. Here also we can write that Q, no problem, because it is a fixed value, Q parameter. This is the third equation that we have got so far. And with that, we will move towards the Q point parameter. Again, the same thing, same Ramayana, that is stability factor. Now for the stability factor, we will again repeat the equation that is input KVL ka equation. VCC minus IE into RC minus IB into RB minus VBE minus IE into RE is equal to 0. Very simple. Now here we will have to put not 1 plus beta times IB. Here we have to express the value of IE in terms of IC because we want do IB upon do IC with which we will calculate the stability factor and we will decide the stability. IE is equal to IC plus IB. Right? In equation above, we will write again VCC minus, we will split this into two parts, one is IC into RC minus IB into RC minus IB into RB minus VBE minus will again split into two part IC and IB IC into RE minus IB into RE is equal to zero right now we can easily differentiate and find out the value of do IB upon do IC this is first one is zero so we will be getting the value this is 0 and this is 0, right? We will collect all the IC terms together. This is IC term. This is IC term where we will be getting the constant value only after differentiation. We will collect all the IB terms together. This is IB terms. And then collectively we will write the complete equation. So now we have got the equation do IB upon do IC as minus RC plus RE divided by RC plus RB plus RE. This is another equation. Great. Now we'll put this equation, we'll say that this is equation number 4 and we'll put this equation in the equation of the stability. We'll put this equation in the equation of stability factor. It's nothing but 1 plus beta times 1 minus beta into do IB upon do IC. Right? We'll modify the above equation as S is equal to 1 plus beta as it is. This minus 
and equation number 4 ka minus will get cancelled so we'll get plus sign over here beta into rc plus re divide by rc plus rb plus re and this is how we have got the another stability factor with which we acquire more stability this is because if you look at this particular expression and previous expression here we have the enhanced value of this rc and the value of rc and rb if we say that no emitter resistance is placed so even though no emitter resistance is placed rc upon rc plus rb which gives you the higher value than that of the previous expression of equation number four so we will be getting the high stability than fixed bias this is the conclusion after analysis of the collector to base bias all these values formulas equations are important for the dc analysis so stay tuned for the next video when we will learn the dc analysis in depth thank you so much for watching this particular video subscribe the channel ekida and learn more and more edc along with me along with ekida videos thank you so much